Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Dune Smoke. Today I'm going to show you a recipe that's been long overdue. I'm going to show you my Mushroom Kingdom dish. Now this is a recipe inspired by Super Mario, the one and only. Now the inspiration behind this is, you know, Mario, he's of Japanese origin, but he's fully Italian. So this is going to be an entire Italian dish with some Japanese background. So this dish is upscale, yet super simple. You're going to love it. I can't wait to show you it, so keep watching. So the secret to this is miso. I'm using red miso paste. It's also known as Aka miso, uh, you know, for further more detail. But uh, you just need a good heaping, you know, tablespoon of it. You don't need a lot, a little tough because I had it refrigerated. Put just one more for good luck. Now what miso does is it penetrates the meat in kind of like a brine, but it also the soybeans really tenderize the meat like right. Miso is a big must in the kitchen if you want some good tender meat. Red wine, the basic uh, Japanese uh, miso marinade is, you know, always some kind of alcohol and a little bit of sugar along with the miso. Kind of creates a cure and brine, which is usually like a sugar, salt, and the miso provides a salt. This is the only salt element we're gonna add to this dish. Here I'm putting like a little rough estimate of brown sugar. And then we're gonna add, of course, garlic. For a shot of the, the Mushroom Kingdom's garden right here. To make this Italian as possible, we're using fresh minced herb. Let's sprinkle some of that in there. All right, for this recipe, there is no specific steak, you know, to use. Use whatever you like, you know, just make sure it's of a good quality. I'm using the skirt steak, it's what I had from a local farmer's market. And from here on out, it's just a matter of pouring the marinade, massaging it, put it in the fridge. The least is four hours, but overnight, even better. When it comes to miso, the longer the better. All right, you guys, so it's the next day. Our steak's already marinating, ready to go. But before we even begin with anything else, we're gonna start by smoking the mushrooms. Now, I was gonna go originally with shiitake mushrooms to continue with the Japanese background, but then, you know, I saw these cremini's at the farmer's market, and I'm like, you know what? These always reminded me of uh, Toad's Hat. <laughs> these, some of these I already I took off the stems. It's like Toad's Hat. So we're gonna go with these. All right, so the smoked mushrooms, it's very simple. You just build a low fire, put a little bit of wood or wood chips. You don't need a lot of smoke for these. And you put the coals to one side like I did right here. And these are not gonna take long at all. I'm literally just gonna have them on here for about 20 minutes. You don't want them to get too smoky. All right, we're just gonna forget about these for 20 minutes. All right, so before we saute these mushrooms, we're gonna start by roasting these peppers. Now this is what's gonna make our red sauce. We're gonna put some Mediterranean spices to this, you know, to accompany our steak. So, uh, yeah, to begin with, you just chop up two big, large, plum red bell peppers. And you're just gonna directly put them on the grill. And I chop them up just so they brown up more evenly, so they get more char, they get more of that, you know, that charcoal flavor. And these cook really quick. All right, so let's prepare these mushrooms. We're gonna saute them with some onions. This is where the real fun begins. So you're gonna start with a hot skillet. Obviously I'm doing this on the grill, but you can do this inside. Put a little bit of grapeseed oil. We're gonna add our onions. All right, so onions are looking a little bit soft. Now it's time to add the smoked mushrooms. Fresh thyme, I love fresh thyme with mushrooms. They complement each other really well, so I'm just gonna throw a whole sprig in there. Now here I got about a fourth cup of sake. You wanna be careful when you add this. If you're working over an open flame, make sure you have it in a container, not straight from the bottle. It could flare up on you. So I'm gonna add this. that cook down a bit. And we're gonna season this with some Japanese soy sauce. It doesn't have to be any specific brand. I'm just gonna a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. 
and it's just working at some really high heat here. I'm gonna add the garlic last so it doesn't, you know, overcook. You don't want that bitter garlic flavor. I'm gonna add about half of what I got here. I'm just gonna keep this moving. All right, so we're gonna grill the steak now. Now to really pull out that umami flavor you want for the Japanese accent, I'm gonna use a really strong, bold, flavorful uh, spice rub here, and it's very simple. Um, we have garlic powder, some chipotle powder for some smokiness, black pepper, and ground shiitake mushrooms, which is gonna bring the umami. This bad boy right here is gonna bring tons of flavor to this steak. All right, so these steaks have been cooking long enough. I'm to about a medium rare done this. Just gonna take them off. They smell amazing. Little baby peas right here for Yoshi. Get this off ball right here. All right, so I'm gonna continue with the rest of the steaks. I'm gonna let them rest, and then we're gonna finish with the sauce. And we're gonna plate this bad boy. All right, so let's build the sauce real fast. Here I got my peppers. I already peeled off some of the you know, the char. See that, they're not too charred up. They smell incredible. And to this, I'm gonna add the remaining of my garlic. That's about a teaspoon of garlic right there. And then to this, I'm gonna add about a small sprig of rosemary. Now to get the stems off, you just push up, peel them off like that. A heaping teaspoon of Spanish smoked paprika. Now this guy's gonna add some smoke flavor. It's also gonna enhance that pepper flavor. Some regular oregano. Just a generous pinch and I crumble it between my fingers to release the flavors more. And then we're gonna finish it with some of our grapeseed oil. Of course we'll have all the Measurements down below. So meat rested. It's time to carve it. I'm using skirt steak, so I gotta carve this across the grain, which I'm gonna look for right now. Assuming it's this way. You're gonna carve it across an angle. You know, because skirt steak is kind of thin, and you want these fan, you know, these slices to fan out and look nice and a little bit bigger portioned. Alright guys, let's plate this thing. Let me show you how I do it. Make it look nice and elegant. Sauce ready to go. I got a plate here. Blue from Mario's jeans. And we're just gonna pour the sauce in the middle, the center. And then we're gonna spread it out. And then we're gonna center it with our onions and mushroom mixture right here. Oh, this smells amazing. There in the center. And of course, we can't have any Mario recipe without a little bit of stardust right here from the Magic Star. So here I have Italian remolata. What this is is just equal parts mixture of minced lemon zest and fresh herb. And we're gonna sprinkle this. Have it, we have Super Mario steak. All right, so let's give this Mario steak a taste. Some of that sauce. Mm. Smoky, that Italian accent. It's amazing, the, you know, there's the Mediterranean, you got your rosemary, your oregano, roasted pepper. It's a lot similar to a, what you would call a romesco, but a bit, bit more basic. The onions, 
and the mushrooms are probably the highlight of this dish. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you love videos like this, you know, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, this is amazing. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>